Holy fuck. Sausage Party is the absolutely weirdest fucking thing I have ever seen in my whole fucking life. The first thing that I noticed that was really strange about it was how many times the word fuck was said in the first minute. I swore I heard it, I think I heard it about five, six times. And it was kind of funny at first, but then halfway through, I didn't care. I was like, wow, this this half of this script is fuck. I'm not saying that I'm offended by the fact that they used it that much, I'm okay with that watch Goodfellas or Wolf of Wall Street. This one, it just didn't have any effect anymore. It wasn't that funny halfway through. That's the thing I will say is that this film is so over the top right off the bat that by halfway through, I was so, I wasn't finding it funny. I was being shocked admittedly, but I wasn't finding it as funny as I did in the first half. Now, the one thing I'll definitely say is what the fuck Alan Menken wrote the song? Academy Award winning Disney music legend, Alan Menken? Now, one reason why a lot of us wanted to see this movie is because it got Seth Rogen and all of his boys are in it. And admittedly, that's always at least a good fun stoner time. As well as the fact that this was an adult animation film that looked funny and had the food realize what happens once they go out of the store and they're eaten. That part wasn't as, it didn't come as off as early as I thought it would and it wasn't the press of point, the main point of the movie. The whole point of the movie is them actually just kind of living within the store and that was, I didn't expect that and I didn't find it that intriguing to be honest. Michael Sarah's character is the one that you're actually caring about because he's gone out, he's figured it out and he's trying to make it back to the store. Whereas we're back with Seth Rogen and Buns and we're trying to figure out what's going on in the store and what's the real truth of the great beyond. And it, it is funny, I'll admit. The fact that it does so much shock value within the first 30 minutes is you kind of lose it up until the ending. I won't look at food the same way again. Probably one of my favorite characters in this entire film was the douche. Now a lot of people thought that he wasn't really necessary because why have an adversary within the food when you have an adversary of humans? Well, what do you say about Mr. Snuggle Bear from Toy Story 3? I know I just got that wrong. Snuggle out, snug, I, don't know, I can't remember his name. The douche is actually, he was my favorite character because of just how much of a giant stereotype he was and just everything he said. I couldn't stop saying, yo bro, for a good few days. However, as I said, the film really loses its essence about halfway through because it's just not, it's not really funny anymore. It's just shocking and it's just kind of like, wow, I can't believe they did that. But I didn't find it as funny because I've kind of seen this before with other Seth Rogen films. It's just a talking hot dog and buns doing it. So in the end, Sausage Party is a funny movie. I'll admit that. The shock value is incredible. The thing is, it's so shocking within the first, as I said, 30 minutes, that it lost its effect for me. And by the end of the movie, I wasn't laughing anymore. I was just like, wow, I can't believe they did that. Hmm. So in the end, I'm gonna give Sausage Party a four out of seven. I'll admit it was very well done. The animation was very well done. It's an amazement of how well it was considering how much the studio was apparently ripped off in terms of being worked to the bone. I hope those guys get what they should deserve, especially the ones who weren't credited in the credits. I don't care to ever see it again. Uh, it was a one-time watch, it was interesting. The two most shocking things in my opinion was that the bagel was voiced by Edward Norton and then Alan Menken did the song. It still weirds me out. Anyway guys, that's all from me. We'll see you later.